In this part of our course, we are going to simulate a real inductor, which has a limited value for Q, and we are going to see how we can extract the value of inductor and how we can find the Q for this inductor. The name of a schematic is int Q, means inductor with a Q. So we are going to see how we can define a, a real inductor in a, in a ADS environment. One of the methods is using the int Q here. As you see, you have to go to lumped components. And at this part, you can see int Q. So here you can define the value for Q. Let's say Q here is 20. We can set the frequency to, uh, let's say, uh, 1000 megahertz, 1 gigahertz. And you just don't have to uh, touch this for now. And L is 1 nanohundred. We're going to actually find the, the Q uh, with simulation. Imagine this is our inductor. We are going to see how we can uh, observe this Q, uh, Q, how we can see the actually the, the series resistor with this inductor. So we know that when, we, when our uh, inductor is um, real, it has a Q and it has lower Q, it means that it has a series resistance. And um, as we increase the series resistance, our Q will decrease. So we're going to uh, extract the value of this resistance as well. So we are going to a simulation as parameter and uh, use a normal term as we used previously. So here I'm going to uh, connect this to my uh, inductor. And this is uh, this is going to be my ground. It's very simple. So here we are going to actually find the uh, impedance for this. So and now we have to put this parameter here. So let's see uh, from five uh, 0 0.1 0 0.1 gigahertz to uh, two gigahertz will be enough for us with the steps of 0 0.1 gigahertz. And now uh, it's ready actually for simulation. Uh, and uh, we, are, we are missing one more step. We have to go to this parameter uh, make sure that you are calculating the Z parameters here. As you see, uh, you know, even you can find the Y, but here I need a Z, so apply OK. So now you will be able to find the uh, extract the value. So let's simulate this. And now uh, I'm going to find the impedance for this. So uh, how we can find this, uh, I'm using a rectangular plot here and Z11 add. So here I will uh, actually find the real part. Okay. So as you see, this is my uh, resistor value, which is increases with frequency. And also uh, the I want to find the value of inductor. So I'm going to choose add and here this is imaginary part. But uh, this imaginary part here is JL omega. We know that the real part uh, is resistance, but imaginary part for inductor is JL omega. So how we can actually find the inductor from here? It's very simple. Uh, we just have to write equation here. So we say JL omega, it means that uh, the actually the, the value is L omega for imaginary part. So we just have to def uh, divide this uh, by the frequency, which is very simple. So we are going to divide this. So uh, this, this value is L omega, we are going to divide by omega. And what is omega? We can uh, define the two pi frequency. So we say two times, I will define three, three point, uh, 14, 16 times a uh, freq frequency. So this is now the L omega over or omega. This is our omega because it's two PF, and uh, this is uh, this is going to be our inductance. So this is the inductance value, and uh, it's there. This is like some uh, variations here. It doesn't matter. Here you can also change this equation because we want to. Uh, here we will get the value. Uh, I'm going to uh, multiply this by. 1 e9 in order to get the nano because you know this is one nano hundred okay okay here as you see the value of my inductor here welcome to rah rf 209l he site advanced design system ads basics and applications course where you will learn how to do simulations on rf circuits in order to become an experienced radio frequency design engineer and landing a job in companies like apple spacex Qualcomm and Broadcom and designing ICs going inside phones and laptops or systems going into satellite and planes. My name is Atasar Rafinejad and with my colleague and course advisor Asan Goncha, I would be leading you through this course. I began my career as a research assistant during my PhD studies, 
Later on, I moved from academia to industry as an RF and analog design engineer, designing power amplifiers and low noise amplifier ICs. My course advisor Ahsan Gonche has more than 5 years RF design and test experience in the industry working at top semiconductor companies such as Broadcom and Qualcomm designing RF filter and bringing up of modules going to lastest phones, laptops and other consumer electronics. The ideal student for this course is an electrical engineer, computer science student planning to become an expert in RF and land a job in the RF field or engineers and employees of the communication and radio frequency related companies who want to boost up or refresh their knowledge on the topics. In this course you are going to be provided with one month free trial ADS so you can do your own simulations and besides that you will have 180 nanometer technology PDK so you will have your own transistor models. And we are going to start with the simple uh, simulations like DC, AC as parameter and later on we will go on uh, harmonic balance, uh, P1DB, IP3 simulations, matching, optimization and different kind of things that you need to know about the ADS.